April 28th, about 7 p.m. And I pretty much had to move everything out of her tub here and uh, dig her out so we can see if she might be interested in some food as it's feeding day. So we'll see if she's ready to eat. Mm, okay. This is a week after I fed her two pinkies last week. And the week before that, she ate one pinky. That was her first meal with me. But originally, I got these pinkies. Uh, they were the only thing that the reptile shop had to uh, earlier when I went to get uh, feeders. They didn't have any fuzzies. Um, so I picked two of these up actually for Jupiter. My albino milk, Nelson's milk snake. Uh, but he, uh, he didn't want to eat. So I've got these guys in here for this one. And I've always said if there's a snake or two that doesn't eat on a particular week, there's always another one uh, ready to uh, take what the other one doesn't. Uh, Jupiter did shed about two weeks ago as well, so he went into blue shed his skin the whole bit so i i figured he'd be ready by now for a meal but he uh he refused so he's kind of had these on and off cycles where he eats and then he'll go several weeks a month whatever not eating and then he'll eat again for whatever reason he's kind of little off on being a regular weekly feeder like the rest of them pretty much are. Now you'll notice on this king snake, you see that head stamp. It almost looks like a face. Right on top of her head. You might want to swallow that first one before you go grabbing the second. But anyway, it looks like a little face on the top of her, like a little monster face or something on the top of her head. At least when I look at her head, that's what I get out of it. And I've yet to uh, still name her. There she goes. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I've yet to name her yet. Uh, I still haven't come up with a proper name just yet for her. But I'm leaning towards something to do with her head stamp. The way that little area on her head, it just looks like a monster, like a little monster's face, like a like the old Pac-Man uh, arcade game, the little ghosts that run around the board, kind of sort of reminds me like that. But anyway, I did decide on my Saharan Samboa. I did decide on Pretzel uh, for her name. So we'll go with that for her. And I'll be feeding her. Uh, she ate last week, and then I brought her home a couple days after that. She had eaten at the reptile shop, so I'll uh, get her something to eat. Probably next week.
give her a chance to settle in and stuff back in her tub. But I am anxious to start the process of upgrading this one to fuzzies here pretty soon because she can handle the pinkies just fine. So I do want to get her up to fuzzy status uh, fairly quickly here. Because um, Jupiter is about the same size as her and he's already been taking fuzzies when he decides he wants to eat. Um, of course, uh, Sock had my apricot Pueblin. I'll have to give him a little more time before I try to upgrade to fuzzies with him. He's, he's going to be eating pinkies for a little while longer. But he's already uh, going into a blue phase right now uh, himself. So. so he's not obviously going to eat this week. But anyway, so another successful feeding with this one here. Come her back out without spooking her. So anyway, she's proven to be a pretty good eater so far now. Anyway, guys, we'll wrap this one up here. So, all right, see y'all.